In this video, we're going to go over how to create these wire wrapped channel settings. This setting is fairly difficult. I actually find it to be probably one of the most tedious wire settings I've ever attempted. But when it's finished, it does look pretty cool. The materials that we'll need for this project are your stones, two segments of 21 gauge square in dead soft, two segments of 21 gauge square in half hard, and about three feet of 28 gauge round. I bent the tips of my two pieces of dead soft square just to make it a little easier for you to see in the video, but this step is not necessary for the project. To begin, we're gonna take our two pieces of dead soft square and wrap our 28 gauge round around them, maybe about an inch from the bottom. I'm gonna wrap it around three times. And then I'm gonna take my nylon tips and flatten that. That'll give us a nice uniform coil there. Next, we're gonna take both of the half hard squares on the outsides of this coil and add them in. Let's go ahead and wrap it around, let's say five times. And again, I'm gonna use our pliers to flatten that coil. I wanna make sure that as we go, that these squares all sit parallel to each other so it's nice and flat. Once we've connected the half hard squares we're going to go ahead and bend 90 degrees into our dead soft squares keeping these two nice and straight at the same width that they started at with that straight down. Once we have these straight down we're going to separate them at about a 45 degree angle from each other and take the 28. I'm going to wrap it twice around this side. Looking down from the top, it just looks like two parallel wires. Those guys kind of became invisible. Next, right where we had put those coils, we're going to go ahead and bend it back 90 degrees so it's parallel, about one wire width below our two half hard wires. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. From here we're going to go ahead and make the seat for the stones to sit on. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead Kind of cross weave between these two. I'm going to leave some gaps in between each weave so instead of going from one side directly back to the other I'm going to coil it around I'm probably going to do four times. Four times around and then back over the top for this one and four times around this one. Perfect. Back the other way. The stones that I'll be using for this are about four millimeters. So I'm gonna need this seat to extend about four millimeters long. So I need to go ahead, put a little bit more distance on the bottom here. To set the stone, we're going to slide it into that gap that, between both pairs of wires. And the culet of the faceted stone should sit right in the middle of that weave that we made. There it is. And to set it, we need to connect our half hards at the top. 
to the setting seat below. So we're going to bring the wire into the center. down to the bottom center and around one time. Then we're going to cross it over to the other side and do the same thing. Let's see if I can get it back in focus. Creating a figure eight to lock the stone in. Here's a close up of what we have so far. Now that we have the first stone in, we're going to go ahead and make the same seat for the next stone, weaving between our two bottom dead softs. To set our stone, we're going to go through this one more time. We have it between the two parallel sections of wire. Go ahead and slide it in a little bit better. Good. We're going to take our weaving wire and lock the top to the bottom using that little figure eight. There we go. Oh, and we lost the focus. Perfect. Got one side locked. We're going to go ahead and cross to the other side and lock this one in with that same figure eight. And then lock it to the bottom. Here we go, two down and two more to go. We're gonna repeat the same process for the other two and then I'll show you how to finish the weave. Here's our setting so far. You can see in the bottom center that I made a mistake with the weave and went around the top wire twice. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it for now, but just something to be aware of. Okay, so to finish the, the, this setting and get back to this kind of 4x4 four four coil, we're going to take our dead soft wire from the bottom, 90 degree angle straight up for both of them, and then just like we did at the very beginning, 90 degree angle back level. And we can bring it all together. To bring it all back together, I'm just going to go ahead and coil this 28 around all four of them, trying to keep them all flat together as I go. Once I get a few coils around, I'm going to use my nylon tips again to flatten them. Flattening it helps keep these parallel as we go. 
To finish it, I just coiled the rest of my 28 down all four of these square wires. Now it's ready to connect onto the frame of a piece. These channel settings can be incredibly tedious, but I hope this video helps you understand the basics a little bit. I always really look forward to your feedback on these videos. It helps me make sure that I'm creating the best tutorials possible. So if you have questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below or message them directly to me on Instagram. I'll put the link to both my Instagram and my website in the description of this video. If you like this video or found this tutorial helpful, subscribe to my channel for more content similar in the future.